Hi! So I screwed up my Tonks coffee ordering, uh, but it will end up being a benefit for you guys because I'll get to show you something. So this came today, and this also came today. So I ordered, and this will be helpful for you if you decide to order Tonks. After I got my free two ounce sample, which I went to look for the other day, my husband just gobbled it up. So he loved it. Uh, so I think this will be a lot of fun. I went in and I ordered the half bag, which is six ounces, not realizing that when I signed up for the two ounce, you automatically get signed up for their standard box bag, which is 12 ounces. So I ended up having two subscriptions, which wasn't a big deal. I went in and I canceled the big bag and I actually changed my half bag subscription. It's really easy to change your subscriptions around. So I changed my half bag subscription to decaf because Tonks comes every two weeks. So I will probably give the half bag, the six ounce bag, that I have this roast to my father and we will keep the 12 ounce bag but I think the 12 ounce bag is going to be quite a lot of coffee for us so I think we won't in two weeks we won't need another bag of regular but I mostly drink decaf and my husband tries to drink decaf after noon so we do need some decaf and we will have that so what I'd like to do is, I have opened these just because I was surprised, but I haven't looked at any of the material. I just checked to see what they were and why I had two of them and what sizes they were. So I don't really know anything about the coffee yet. And then I went immediately online and changed my subscription so it wouldn't happen again in two weeks. Um, so this is the six ounce bag, which really seems like a ton of coffee. Again, I guess if you drink coffee every day, like make a big pot of coffee every day, you would go through this pretty quick. But um, that's a lot of coffee for us. And I can't really smell it. And I'm not gonna open this one because this is the one I will probably give to my dad. That makes some nice sounds. And I will probably open the 12 ounce so I can smell that. And this says, Tonks is very pleased to bring you this La Cuchillas Hinotega Nicaragua. I think it's pronounced Hinotega. Fresh roasted whole bean coffee. And I'll look at the materials with it after. So let's look at what the 12 ounce bag looks like. So this has the, oh, I can smell that. I can smell that just by opening it. So that's a 12 ounce bag. You can't see the coffee in this one. And this was roasted on October 20th. So today's October 23rd. So they roasted it on Sunday, and they got it to me by Wednesday, which is awesome. And I, ugh, I can smell this a little bit, but I'm gonna open this so that I can really smell it. Oh, it doesn't want me to tear it, it wants me to cut it. Okay, I got scissors. That was a good noise. Okay, so let's see how this smells. I will probably also make a cup of this tomorrow because it's afternoon right now and I can't do decaf afternoon. I mean, I can't do regular. Ooh, that smells good. Mm, I can't do regular afternoon. Mm, coffee beans. I love chocolate covered coffee beans. The sound of coffee beans, and I like the smell of coffee beans, 
And my husband is going to devour this. But let's see the marketing material that came with this. So it comes with this little letter from Tonks. Then it always comes with a little card to tell you about the coffee itself. So this says October 20th, 2013. Here at Tonks, we often talk about moving at the speed of coffee. It's as close as we get to one of those corporate motivational phrases. We are always aiming to do more, do it better, do it faster. Great coffee fuels our ambition and is our ambition. But coffee has a slow side too. Amid the logistical hustle and bustle, the bagging of beans, the shipping of boxes, and the last minute deadlines, the routine coffee break is a genuine respite. There is something very grounding about the ritual of making a cup. Flipping on the coffee maker or putting on the kettle, dosing some beans in, into the grinder and patiently waiting for the delicious reward. These fleeting moments of bliss are a simple pleasure. In a world cluttered with demands and distractions, a good coffee break is a tiny meditation. A four minute vacation, Thanks for taking it with us. As always, we're here to help you get the most from every mug. Please don't hesitate to contact us at the addresses below. We're happy to answer your questions and provide brew tips and advice anytime. Very nice. They also have on their website, if you prepay for like 12 bags. I think it's $233. So whatever that works out to for the six ounce, the six ounces are $12 a bag. The 12 ounces, $19 a bag. So uh, I may factor that in to how I work my subscriptions because it is so much cheaper for a 12 ounce bag. I don't know. I, I like the variety. I like getting a different kind of coffee every two weeks so I don't know we'll see uh, but I do like these little cards that come I think they're very cute they're very indicative of the area where each coffee comes from again as I've mentioned before I like the little tasting notes I like knowing about what I'm drinking I like thinking about the fact that this came from Nicaragua and uh, I, I don't know I just I had um, I had a professor from Nicaragua in school, and I really thought he was a wonderful man, and he's no longer with us. So uh, I think about him whenever I see Nicaragua, um, and it is a long, sad story. So I'm not going to tell it here on the video. But if you want more information, let me know. Uh, but I don't want to be a downer on a nice unboxing coffee video. In the small community of La Cuchillas Hinotega in Nicaragua, Francisco Javier Valle is growing some great beans. His farm, the gorgeous Finca La Amistad, is 3.5 hectares of 14,000 Katura Pacamara and Bourbon coffee plants. I don't know the names of coffee plants at all. That's cool. Shaded by guava and banana trees. Oh, I want to picture that. Hmm. Okay. During the harvest, about 60 to 70 well-trained pickers select ripe cherries for harvest. Francisco and his brother pulp, ferment, and dry the coffee. La Cuchillas is a real crowd pleaser. It's full-bodied, syrupy with flavors of Dutch cocoa, butterscotch, and roasted almond. Again, I need to develop a palette. Like I said, I went to a wine tasting yesterday and I was talking about this Tonks box uh, with my guests at that dinner saying, you know, I'm just starting to get that I can taste some things in wine. I can't always taste the millions of things they say are in there, but I can taste, like I could taste cherries in the 
uh, rosé that we were drinking and I can't taste anything in coffee yet. Uh, my palate is not distinguished enough and I don't drink quite enough coffee but I really like getting these tasting notes and knowing about it. I also didn't realize that the berries that they pick that have the coffee beans in them are called cherries. Didn't realize that. Um, so I learned something, uh, which is what I like about these boxes, is I learned things uh, that I didn't know. I also like the boxes that they come in. We source, we roast, we ship, you brew. Tonks coffee. Oh, cool. On the bottom of the box, it gives you information about proper care and feeding of your whole bean coffee. Storage. Store in an airtight container away from light and heat. Do not refrigerate or freeze, which a lot of people do. A lot of people keep their coffee in the freezer. And use within a couple of weeks of the roast date for the best flavor. Preparation. Whether you choose to use a scoop, scale, or laser beams, it is important to measure your dose of beams, beans and the amount of water so you can repeat your best brews or make measured adjustments if your brew gets screwy. Grinding. Fresh grinding every time will result in a much better brew. Only grind what you need. A burr grinder will give you more uniform particle size than one of those whirly blade grinders and is the single best thing you can do to improve your brewing. I don't, if, I don't know that I know what a burr grinder is. Huh. Burr grinder. If you know what a burr grinder is, tell me. Leave it in my comments. <clears throat> Aside from starting with awesome fresh roasted Tonks beans. Brewing. There are many methods for brewing coffee, ranging from super simple to serious science projects. We encourage you to explore, experiment, and reach out to us anytime for brewing tips and troubleshooting. Enjoyment. Properly brewed, your coffee should taste sweet and balanced. Grinding fresh, clean gear and a little trial and error will get your brew to a happy place and we love it when you share your coffees with friends. We are Tonks, longtime coffee zealots who th think you should get your brew on with the very best beans. We seek out the best available green coffees, male Mail the roasting? No. Nail the roasting is my guess what that says. It's very small. And ship to your door right away. You can always find us at tonks.org and all the usual hangouts on the World Wide Web. Now I want to know, is the same information on here? No! <gasps> if you get the six ounce bag, you don't get all of the proper care and feeding of your bag of coffee information. Oh no. So clearly you need to make sure you get the 12 ounce bag. Um, at least once. <laughs> yeah. get, get, the, get the 12 ounce bag your first time so you get all the proper information on the bottom or just watch this video over and over again so you don't forget. Um, so I need to find out what a burr grinder is. I need to start tasting for, what was it I'm tasting for in this? Dutch cocoa, butterscotch, and roasted almonds. And I need to start to really convince my husband that he needs to clean out his coffee maker all the time. We have, um, I think it's called a mock brewer, which I learned from Tonks. I had no idea what it was called, but it's got a piece on the bottom that you fill with water. You put in the filter. You fill the filter with coffee grounds. You screw the top on, which just looks like a little teapot, coffee pot. It's all metal. You put that right on the burner, and then the steam rises up through the coffee, 
and fills the top part. Makes really good coffee, makes really strong coffee. Uh, you have to screw it very tight to not have water pour out of um, the two sections when you pour the coffee. You also have to pour the coffee very slow or it pours out. I often do it over the sink just to be safe. And my husband uses it almost every day and he never washes it out and it gets really gross. And the bottom sm can smell like an old bong. Not that I would have any idea what that smells like, but I have heard that the bottom can kind of smell like an old bong and then it's got, you know, this coffee in the top that is never washed out unless I happen to use it, which is like once a week. So that's gross and I need to tell him not to do that if he wants the best coffee. Also, I usually use a French press, but we only have one French press. And I have recently, sorry, this is just non sequitur girl. Um, I have recently gotten completely obsessed with water kefir. If you don't know what kefir is, um, you might know about it from like the health food section. They they tout it kind of like yogurt. Um, and you can get bottles of, of milk kefir, but I drink it because it's a fantastic source of probiotics that doesn't cost me $100 a month. So I have water kefir. It's just bacteria, and what you do is, I'm going to, I don't know exactly how it works, but I know it's probiotic. So you put a quarter of a cup of sugar in, you fill it with water, sometimes I fill it with tea, sometimes I fill it with like a lemonade kind of thing, um, but lately I've just been filling it with water because I've gotten used to the taste and I kind of like it just with water. So the kefir itself eats the sugar and it makes your water kind of bubbly, kind of tastes like tonic water a little bit. Uh, when you drink it, but it gives you tons and tons of probiotics and you don't need to keep buying the kefir You just keep feeding the kefir and I started making mine in a French press because you don't want to get the actual kefir grains in your drink You just want the kefir water. So I now either have to buy a new French press or I need to consider prepaying for my tonks so that they will send me, if you prepay, they send you this type of uh, coffee maker that I have never used before. So my only complaint with that coffee maker is that you need filters. And I know I'm, I'm going to be terrible about buying filters, but I'm interested in it. I'm interested in how it tastes. So I may have to get that or I may have to go out and buy a new French press. So on that ramble, I'm going to try and make myself a cup of this coffee in the morning and make a video. Probably not tomorrow morning because I won't be home, but Friday morning. I'll make a cup and I will let you know how I like it. And hopefully in two weeks, I'll have a decaf coffee that I can share with you too. Okay, if you have any questions about Tonks, I'm going to put uh, all the information I have in my description box. And I will see you guys all again soon. Okay, bye. Hi guys. So I've had a chance to try my new Tonks coffee. And it is delicious. I have a cup here. We've been drinking it all week. It is really noticeably good coffee. I also got a call from my mom today. I gave my mom and dad a the small bag that I accidentally ordered and she called me this morning to tell me how delicious the coffee was and it really is it uh i actually made myself a cup i didn't let my husband make a cup because he makes it too dark he puts too much coffee in the coffee maker for my taste so uh, i made my own and it was perfect and it was delicious and i loved it and 
Um, I've realized that I really like the experience of getting these uh, boxes, and um, I think Tonks provides a really good experience. I think after a few months of getting their coffee every two weeks, I will feel like I have a more distinguished coffee palette. Uh, it's kind of like wine. When I uh, first started drinking wine, I enjoyed it, but not that much because I really didn't know what I was drinking. I didn't know what I liked. I wasn't able to pick out things that I thought I would enjoy. Uh, but now that I have been studying wine a little bit over the past few years, I enjoy wine much, much more because I'm able to find things that I really like. I'm able to try new things and I can pick out different tastes. So uh, I get a lot more enjoyment out of my wine drinking. And I really feel like Tonks will give me that experience with coffee. So they give you the little toasting, tasting notes. They, they tell you about the coffee. That's kind of my favorite part. I mean, you want good quality product as well, but um, I also really want to learn about what I'm getting. So I feel like I will really grow in my coffee tasting uh, ability and it's nice it's a good present to share too my dad was very happy to get this uh, nice fancy coffee from me and I and I really like the tasting aspect so I like that every two weeks I'll get a different kind of coffee that I can try I am switching to decaf for the next round because uh, we have this large bag and since it comes every two weeks um, I'm going to do the decaf. Also, my mother's not supposed to drink full calf coffee because she's diabetic, so um, she did taste it, but uh, I'm going to get the decaf so I can share some with her too. So I'm going to try the decaf, see if it's as good as the full calf, and I'll probably just switch around. So we'll get decaf uh, for a little bit until I've got plenty of that, and then I'll get um, regular for a while and just kind of play around with it and so I get a good mix but um, very excited about this coffee it really is delicious I think you would love it uh, so come on over and you can open the decaf with me next time and we'll see if it's as good as this one okay bye guys